Dear friends, in the beginning, let me congratulate you all, especially dear Dhruv, whom I treat as my very own son. I have been so happy looking at your activity. Dhruv keeps me posted about your progress of this entire study classes. And I so much wanted to be with you all this evening. I hope the surprise is still there for you. Without much ado, let us come back to the subject. We are talking about Sthita Pragna Darshan. The person, the characteristics of a person with steady intellect or in general terms a self-disciplined person. What are its characteristics? How does he behave? What is his state of mind? How does he exude his warmth and love and uh, knowledge to the people around him? We have discussed it in detail and I am sure Dhruv has done a lot of justice to this subject. We have to begin today with the verse 69th. We will go stanza by stanza. Ya Nisha Sarva Bhutanam Ya Nisha Sarva Bhutanam Tasyam Jagarati Sanyami Tasyam Jagarati Sanyami Yasyam Jagrati Bhutani Yasyam Jagrati Bhutani Sanisha Pashyato Munehe Sanisha Pashyato Munehe Meaning Ya it means that a feminine gender Ya Nisha that which is night for Sarva Bhuta Naam all Bhuta is being usually in Gujarati or Hindi language people translate Bhuta as ghost no here Bhuta is that which is being that which is that which exists it comes from the Sanskrit root Bhu Bhava Bhu is to be so Bhuta is past tense that which has been that which is around Sarva Bhutanam, for everyone who is around, that which is night, Tasyam Jagarati Sanyami, the self-disciplined person keeps awake in that night for others. And Yasyam Jagrati Bhutani, when the all beings are awake, Sanisha Pashyato Munehe, for a wise seer, that is a night. In simple terms, when worldly people are asleep, the self-disciplined person, the Sita Pragna, is awake. And when worldly people are awake, the Sita Pragna sleeps. Now, if you take the meaning in verbatim, probably everyone who works in a night shift will have to be regarded as a sthita pragna and we will have to create temples for them no it is not that simple lord krishna in bhagavad gita which is the best philosophy offered to the human kind by lord himself will not talk about such sleeping and night thing it definitely has to have a deeper meaning dear friends let us go into it First of all, a worldly person, a commoner, and a self-disciplined person, a sthita pragna, they have a wide difference in their attitude towards the world. Literally speaking, their thinking is way apart like day and night. Main difference being, a worldly person operates by default while a sthita pragna operates by design. Worldly person does not really think what he is doing 
or what is the result going to be. While a Sthita Pragna contemplates his each move, his each behavior, his each encounter with people and he thinks not only what's going to happen today or tomorrow or two years down the line or ten years down the line. In fact, he thinks what this action is going to yield me, how this action is going to benefit me, affect me or affect me in the lives to come. Because karma continues, body dies, the karma does not. So he's so awake with his eyes wide open, with each action is very very particular. Sing, simple thing like say food. A common person eats. Why? A. Because he's hungry. B. Because he likes the taste. C. Because everybody else is doing and so he needs to talk, he needs to discuss with people. Hey, did you taste this? Did you taste this? Oh, uh, the restaurant. It has such wonderful pizza. That restaurant, oh, it goes lovely, it's awesome Mexican food. And so everyone has to go, otherwise they'll feel left out. Sthita Pragna does not believe in this. He eats, but he eats because he needs to nourish his body. He chooses the food which is good for his health and mind. So he is not just after titillating his sense organs. We have discussed about sense organs at length in the earlier verses, so I am not going to repeat it. This is what it means by a self-restrained person, a sthita pragna person. Also, night symbolizes darkness, darkness of ignorance, while day symbolizes light, brightness, brightness of wisdom, brightness of vision. Normal person, a worldly person, Sarva Bhutani. They are always, even with their eyes open, they are asleep. Why? Because they don't think. While a Nishita Pragna, even if he is asleep, is active. He is conscious. For a worldly person, it's asleep. He does activity. He gets up. He has his shower, he goes to office, he works, he earns money, he interacts with people, he socializes, he gets married, he produces children, he, he becomes somebody in the society, he does everything. But he is asleep. Then you may ask, how can he do everything if he is asleep? Dear friends, it's a state of dream. He just dreams. We all have experienced dreams. Haven't, when the dream is on, we feel that it is actually happening. This is what happens with worldly people. This is what happens with beings. They feel everything is happening. They feel engrossed. But they forget to realize that this whole world is nothing but a dream. And a Sita Pragna is awakened. Pashyataha. What does he see? Pashya is to see. Pashya is to look. What does he see? He sees that this is a dream and I am a dreamer. I may enjoy a dream, but I know that I am not the dream. The dream is not a reality. The dream is a dream. Similarly, so this is a difference between a worldly person and a Siddha pregnant. You must have observed people in a movie when some tragic scene happens, people start crying. The heroine or the actor who is performing the tragic scene brings tears in his or her eyes by using glycerin. It's just a performance for them, it's a, it's a business for them. But the person who is in front of the screen, the person who is enjoying quote unquote, enjoying the movie gets so much engrossed in it that their tears are real. They were probably the whole packet of tissues. Why? This is the difference between the Sthita Pragna. A Sthita Pragna may enjoy a movie. He may even enjoy a tragic scene. 
but he knows that this is just a scene. It is a leela. It is a drama. It's a show. He doesn't start crying himself. And the beings, worldly beings, what they do? They cry even after seven days after watching movie. Oh, last weekend I watched this movie. Poor fellow or poor lady, she had to go through so much. Somebody needs to counsel him. Somebody needs to help him psychologically to come out of it. My dear friends, this world around us is a wonderful dream, a wonderful movie with all the types of acting, funny, tragic, valor, peace, erotic, all types of moods are there. But we have to enjoy and we have to know that I am a dreamer. I am not the dream. And what is this reality? What is this Pashyataha? Pashyata is nothing but I am Brahman. I am the Brahma. I am the Supreme Being. Aham Brahmasmi. Once that realization comes, everything else is just enjoying a wonderful drama, enjoying a wonderful scene. Siddha Pragna has passed through all the stages of life. Let me give you a simple example. We all were teenagers and at that age, 13, 14, we felt that, oh, we know everything. And we do those simple things like cheating our parents, cheating teachers. And we felt that, oh, they are not going to come. They will never know about it. But now at this stage, if we are parents and if we have teenage, teenage children, maybe for you 10 years down the line, it's quite possible that you will know what your teenager is doing. You may... Ignore it sometimes, but it doesn't mean that you don't know about it. A teenager has not yet become a parent or a 40 plus parent. So the child, the teenager does not know what happens at that age. But a 40 plus parent knows what exactly happens at the teenage. Say an example of an old man now. An old man knows all the stages of life, childhood, teenager, 40 plus and old age. So sometimes when we say, Grandpa, you don't know about this. No, he knows everything. He may not be able to express it. Or he, sometimes he chooses not to express it. But it does not mean that he doesn't know it. He has been through that stage. Similarly, Siddha Pragna is Pashyataha, knowledgeable. He knows everything that goes around in the world. He may put it on the ignore mode, but he knows what is happening. So he is not ignorant. While a common man, a being, Bhuta, is ignorant of the spiritual realities. Siddha Pragna has known the spiritual reality and hence he also knows the world. He enjoys being in it. He doesn't talk of dying. He doesn't talk of committing suicide. He knows with all its favorable situations and adversities. He enjoys both. He knows that both these situations are here to teach me something and I need to learn a precious lesson. Dear friends, if we adapt this, if we try to go beyond the situation, we are better in command of the situation. If it is an adversity, we will be able to tackle it more efficiently. And hence, this is what Gita, this is what Lord Krishna teaches us. Go beyond, mature, evolve, keep awake when everyone else is sleeping. And you will be a successful person in life. With this, let us go to the next verse. How can one actually control his sense organs? Let us ask Lord Krishna, dear God, do you have 
a role model for us? And Lord Krishna says, yes, of course. Go on to the next verse. 17th verse of second chapter, Lord Krishna teaches us how to control sense organs.